Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a quick sketch of Commissioner James Gordon from the Batman animated series. So the animated series, again, uh, an award-winning uh, cartoon, but one that in my opinion is for all ages. Let's put in an oval for the face. Let's put in shoulders. Most of the characters, the men anyways, used to have broader shoulders in the show. It actually suited the entire uh, atmosphere. And then we'll have him looking that way. So a line toward the right side there. So that is the thing that we did for the framework. And then we begin to flesh out James Gordon. James Gordon has portrayed in most media a character who Batman respects and even puts above himself in the sense that he knows that it's easier to be a vigilante instead of following the rules and working along the lines of the law and then doing great things as James Gordon, James Gordon does. So then we have this mullet coming back in right there. We have the hairline that goes somewhere like that. There's either three or two uh, extensions there and then this comes in and then I'm not sure if he's like showed as very old because the hair is white. He does have young daughter Barbara Gordon who becomes Batgirl. So he could be just like portrayed as quite old, but he, he's like, uh, he moves like a young person in the show. He's shown to be fit. So Commissioner Gordon is uh, portrayed, as I've mentioned, a little as a graying but fit figure in the animated series. Hence, what we're just putting down right now is the uh, stocky and uh, what you call uh, gruff uh, details for his face. So he is, what you could say, uh, sort of a tough guy. Uh, so educated, enlightened, and a tough guy appearance with some authority. So the glasses actually make up for that, <coughs> as we are putting them down right now. So the details are all very, very simple. Very simple lines, but very classic. And then we just add in some face lines right there. And on, now that we're done with the face, let's go into his fatigues, his, his dress. So there's that unique uh, cutoff tie right there with the two panels. And he almost always has this uh, one-tone trench coat that he wears for most of his appearances. In certain appearances, he also came uh, while he was in the office talking to the Batman or his contemporaries. He would wear just his shirt, but the trench coat almost whenever he was out. So we put in those simple lines and the trench coat is done. So now in the style of the animated series and in its custom, we'll just put down the minimal shading. And so there was always, if you, if you watched certain clips from the show, that there was always a tone going about to give the uh, figures, the characters, additional dimension. And that was uh, shadows and tones in a source of light. So we have a source of light uh, that is coming in from the left side of his face in this case, and hence the darker tones on the right hand side of Commissioner Gordon. So I'm just putting in the tones, uh, some texture for the ties there, some fills and fills around the corners uh, under the collar and going into the panel 
of the trench coat and I think that uh, if you use a uh, flat tip if this is a quick sketch it will actually immensely help in getting down the shading uh, out of the way when it's a quick sketch but of course if you are gifting it to the uh, rare uh, Commissioner Gordon fan the diehard fan uh, then you would of course go and put in some detailed crosshatch to make it uh, pop a little bit more and right here in the white here I have to just take care not to darken it too much uh, his wear is like like jet white and we just make it uh, just put in enough tones to make it uh, just stand out with that little shading which can be consistent to the rest of his clothing and also his face and there we have it Commissioner Gordon is complete some smudging there just to make it blend a little more so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day.